at Cali Comfort out here in Spring Valley with our, I believe, our third watch party of the year. So anytime our team's on the road, we like to host a bunch of our fans and everything at some of our partners' venues where we can come out and watch the game, have some good drinks and have some food and enjoy the night. Being so new and fresh in the marketplace, uh, it gives us a good chance from a visibility standpoint to get uh, people out and uh, just in the community and show kind of what the Seals are all about. People can catch the game and then with that kind of gets the ball rolling on uh, kind of growing our brand and everything within uh, the San Diego community. The Seals, they've become family to us on the show. Uh, our boy Woodsy does the PA obviously, you know, banging on the glass, louder! We are out there every chance we get. We went out to Vegas for the game a couple of weeks ago and we've just been having so much fun rooting for the boys. I think it's a great way to grow our fan base because it gets us out into the community in different areas and it lets us talk to fans who weren't really Teals fans who are just at this restaurant or place um, who didn't know about the game. Seeing the Sirens dancers in Salty, you know, I think it just enhances the experience as a whole. So we get to bring our fans out and once they get to see that, it kind of creates a whole unique, fun experience for everyone. I mean, what's more fun than seeing uh, a six foot uh, seal running around and high-fiving fans inside of a local bar and everything like that so just makes it a cool unique experience for the fans and for everyone on site. I think the SEALs have done a really great job about uh, enveloping themselves into the community. They are out at every event. You're gonna see a SEALs booth, you're gonna see Salty out there, the Sirens, the dance team, everyone's gonna be out there. They want to make this a family fun environment and I think they have really succeeded very well. Yeah, I think from a sponsorship standpoint, we're always looking at things uh, in a big picture and long term. So while this is only our second year in San Diego, we're throwing watch parties that host you know, typically about 40 to 50 fans. I think as we continue to grow within the community and uh, with these core like first sponsors that we've had, it'll grow and we'll continue to get more and more people. Whenever the team's on the road, it'll become more of a marquee event and it'll become like something that we do nine times a year and it'll be something people won't want to miss out on. I think lacrosse being in San Diego is a great opportunity for all of our high school teams that we have here and middle school teams. Uh, they get to see an actual professional team here on the West Coast. Seals to get out there and to be at all these events and to have these watch parties and let the community know, hey, we are San Diego's team, we're here for you. I think it's really important and I think it's gonna definitely help their brand grow tremendously. The support and everything from some of our fans has been awesome and unbelievable. It's, you can already see it and feel it building where we have these diehard fans and everything like that. So I think just from a recognizable standpoint, that's where we have to grow within the marketplace. As soon as more and more people kind of get to see what the product is and what exactly for those who don't know about lacrosse, once they get to come out to Pachanga and catch a game, they'll realize how unique of an experience it is and how great the sport as a whole is. So it'll be uh, it'll be exciting, and we're really stoked for the future.